Welcome to your new Dish Network service. Check out where I am. This is the Dish Network studio, where TV magic happens. We've created a space that is specifically designed to make it super easy for me to show you how to best enjoy your Dish experience. And by the way, congrats on the really smart buying decision. You're paying much less than what your neighbor's paying for those other guys. And you're getting the best in TV technology. Nice job. And now, you're just 30 minutes away from becoming the master of your new TV. Normally, these how-to type videos are pretty painful. I'll try to go easy on you. By watching this, you can learn about our new features, and I'll let you know how to get answers to any questions, anytime. Spend a little time with me, and you'll learn enough about your system to make watching and recording TV a breeze. I'll teach you about all the buttons on your remote and the cool stuff they can do for you. And the best part, we've created a countdown for you so you'll know exactly when you want to tune in. We'll highlight the topic we're currently covering, and you can easily see what is coming up. Want to learn how to use your DVR? Tune in at six minutes past the hour. Just missed it? No problem. This program repeats every half hour, so you can catch the DVR tutorial at 36 minutes past the hour, too. Or, if you're only interested in learning about how to watch TV everywhere, you'll know to tune in at 18 and 48 past the hour. Okay, are you ready to get started? Let's go. First up, how to manage your account and get helpful tips. If there's anything you should store up here by watching this, this is it. There are three easy ways to take care of your needs, like paying bills, checking statements, or getting support. First, online. Check out dish.com to conveniently manage your account, order pay-per-view movies and events, and get helpful troubleshooting tips, and more. We're always working to make the site better and more useful for subscribers. How are we doing? Let us know with our feedback feature. Not online? There's also dialing up the automated phone system. There you can take care of simple needs such as paying your bill, ordering pay-per-view, and troubleshooting tips. And finally, if your receiver is connected to a phone line or the internet, you can check your balance, pay your bill, change your programming, and more on channel 100. There you go. Three easy ways to get help when you need it. If you need further assistance, you can talk to us online with our chat feature or dial one of our helpful agents. Here at Dish Network, we're always working to upgrade our service to make things easier for you. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how to get started with your new Dish Network system. On to the good stuff, how to use your system. I'm going to give you a tour of your new remote, show you how to see what's on TV, check out the different ways to channel surf, and help you find the shows you want to watch. Obviously, your TV is already on. So to turn it off, hit the red TV button. Hit the button again to turn it back on. The red power button will shut off your dish receiver, although it doesn't really shut off. It simply goes into standby mode. Here's another important thing to remember. Always have the remote in sat mode. That lets the remote know it needs to talk to your dish receiver. Okay, now that we know how to turn things on and off, let's see what's on TV. Say you know exactly what channel you want because you've looked at our handy channel lineup card. Just use the number pad on the remote to go directly to the channel you want. Easy. You can also surf by just pressing the channel up and down buttons. I personally think the easiest way to find out what's on is by hitting the guide button and scrolling through the program guide. You can use the arrow buttons to move around and use the page up and page down buttons to fly through the guide. You can see what's coming in the immediate future by pressing the right arrow. To see what's on tomorrow at this time, hit the skip forward button. You can hit the skip back button to go back to the current time. When you found something you like, you can simply press the select button. The view live TV button will always exit all on-screen menus and take you right back to what you're watching. You can try the cancel button. It takes you back to the previous screen of any menu. Now, if you push the guide button more than once, you'll discover there are a bunch of different custom guides. You've already got a pre-programmed list for all channels, one for only the channels you've subscribed to, and 
If you're an HD customer, there's a list for that. So if you can't find that show you love on the program guide, you probably have the wrong list selected. Hit the guide button, choose my channels, and it will be there. And for all you channel surfers out there, your favorite button is called Recall. It jumps you back to the last channel you were just watching. So if you want to switch between two channels, keep pressing Recall. The other basic, but like key buttons, are right here. Volume up and down, and mute. So really, for basic TV viewing, all you need is right in this top blue section. There you go. Basics covered. Okay, your DVR. If this is your first DVR, big congrats. It's about to change your life. Take a look at your dish remote. All your DVR buttons are here. If you're watching a show and get interrupted, just pause the show. To start again, hit play. Simple, right? Okay, there are two buttons that the dish remote has that you will love. The skip back and skip forward buttons. If you missed something and want to watch it again, the skip back button jumps you back 10 seconds at a time. If you want to skip over something, the skip forward button jumps you ahead 30 seconds at a time. Want to go back to watching live TV? There's a button for that too. Press it and you instantly quit what you were doing and jump back to whatever is playing live on your TV. If you're watching a show and decide you want to record it, hit the red record button on your remote and select OK. If you want to record a show in the future, it's easy to do it through the guide. First, find your show on the guide. Once your show is highlighted, hit select or record. Now you can create a timer. The dish timer allows you to record a show once or multiple times. Once you're done setting a timer, here's how you can watch your recorded shows. Press the DVR button once and select my recordings. Or you can just press the DVR button twice and there you are, a list of all the shows you've recorded. Just select a show and press start to get rolling. Or select delete if you don't want it anymore. To delete a timer you've created, or simply manage your timers, select My Recordings, then on the menu bar select Schedule. There you go. You're looking at all the shows scheduled to record. From here, you can manage your timers. To delete a timer, select Timer, Edit List, choose the timer for the show you want to delete, and select Delete. If you see any shows with a line through them, you may have a recording conflict. To resolve, select the item you want to record, hit the restore button, and follow the prompts. You can also select set priority from the timers menu to prioritize the shows you want recorded over others. You may run into recording conflicts when you are in the guide and you choose a show you want to record. If that happens, a pop-up will show on screen that looks like this. From there, you can have the DVR manager automatically choose what shows you want recorded based on current priorities. Or, you can change priorities to make sure you record exactly what you want. As you can see, watching and recording shows is a piece of cake with your Dish Network DVR. At Dish Network, we work hard to ensure your setup and viewing experience is trouble-free. Unfortunately, as with other TV providers, things don't always go according to plan. If you run into any problems with your service, here are five tips to get you back up and running. If your remote isn't working, try pressing the SAT button to make sure your remote knows to control your receiver. You must be in SAT mode to use your DISH network system. And remember, sometimes batteries do wear out, so it's good to check them too. Loss of picture. There are several ways this might have happened, like changing the input on your TV to operate a DVD player or video game console, changing your TV input or channel using your TV remote or the TV itself, pressing the input or channel buttons with your dish remote when you are not in sat mode, or a power outage, causing your TV to move off the correct channel or input. To fix this issue, cycle through the inputs using the TV remote or the buttons on the TV itself. 
This can be done by pressing the input, source, or TV video button, depending on your TV. Do not use the Dish Network remote for this fix. The input should only be changed using the TV controls. If you still can't find a picture, try changing the channel on the TV itself to channel 3 or channel 4. If you have a dual tuner receiver and it's your TV 2 that's having the issue, try channel 60 or 73. If you're having trouble finding the channel you want when using the program guide, you probably have the wrong favorites list selected. Hit the guide button multiple times to cycle through your lists. The My Channels list will show you all the channels you are currently subscribed to. On rare occasions, your picture may be up because something is blocking reception from the outside. Here's the good news. Your dish receiver is smart enough to recognize this and inform you of the problem on screen. Note that you can still watch recorded DVR content while experiencing reception issues. Take a look at your dish and just make sure there's nothing obstructing the dish antenna, like tree limbs or snow buildup. Rarely, weather may get in the way, but in the case of snow buildup, if it's safe to access your dish, simply wipe the snow off the dish. If you find that you're having reception trouble during normal rain showers, that's not normal. Your system may need to be tweaked by a dish technician to maximize your signal strength. If all else fails, as with all electronic equipment, sometimes you just need to reboot. Here's how you do it. Just unplug the dish receiver for 10 seconds and then plug it back in. If you're still having trouble, just go to dish.com support or call one of our helpful agents at the number on your screen. If you can stay right here with me, this is where you learn about customizing your new service. In the next three minutes, you will learn how to lock channels, create favorites lists, and how to turn closed captioning on and off. You can set locks on your programming by rating, by channel, and you can control what is allowed on your TV when you aren't there. Here's how you do it. Press the menu button and look for the locks option. From there, you can choose to lock by channel, rating, you can even restrict by violence, language, and adult content. If locking content is important to you, you may want to consider locking pay-per-view channels as well. Once you choose what you want to lock, select Lock System. Don't forget this last step, as the channels you've selected won't be locked until you select Lock System. To make sure that your locks are set correctly, go to the lock screen. If Unlock System can be seen on screen, you know your system is locked. Or you can just locate the channel you want locked on the program guide, press Info, and make sure the lock icon is closed. You want to repeat these steps for each receiver in your home. The first time you lock the system, it will ask you for a pin. If you forget your pin in the future, go to dish.com slash myprofile to reset it. Remember, you'll need to log in to your online account first. Dish Network has a few special features in our guide that will help you customize your viewing experience. For example, if you know what channels you love and don't feel like scrolling through all the channels every time just to get to them, no problem. Here's what we can do to simplify your life. Create a favorites list. To set up your favorites list, the first thing you do is hit this little button up here called Menu. It's a good button to know, and I highly recommend you surf around in here later. But for now, let's stick with how to create a favorites list. Okay, to make a favorites list, press Menu, go to Preferences, select Favorites, click on the channels you like, once you're done, name your list, and just like that, you can surf all your favorites in one place. You can also set up a list for each member of your family, then easily switch between the lists by hitting the guide button. When a favorites list option screen appears, just select the list you want. And if you have the program guide on screen and aren't sure which list you're on, it always says right here. Pretty simple, right? For those of you that want to add closed captioning, here's how to do it. Hit the menu button on your remote, then go to Preferences. Select Closed Caption, and then follow the prompts to turn your closed captioning on and off. When you're finished, select Done, and you're all set. As always, hitting the View Live TV button will take you right back to what you're watching. And there you have it. Movies are fun, right? That's why Dish Network now gives you more ways to watch movies than ever before. 
When you connect your dish receiver to broadband or a phone line, you'll be able to take advantage of the best movies and entertainment available. Okay, let's talk about how to get movies. First, there's Dish Cinema, which has the hottest movies right at your fingertips. From your guide, simply go to channel 502 and arrow up through channel 558 to check out your viewing options. If your dish receiver is connected to a phone line, select the movie you want, and the on-screen guide will let you confirm your purchase. If you aren't connected to a phone line, you can order pay-per-view titles online by going to dish.com slash ppv or calling 1-877-DISH-PPV. Now, if you have a DVR and are connected to broadband or a phone line, you can also rent Dish Cinema via video on demand, so you can watch your movies anytime you want. To access video on demand, simply go to your guide and press 1 or 501 to browse the selections. Follow the on-screen instructions to order the movie you want to watch. Or you can just press the DVR button and navigate the on-screen menus to find what you're looking for. And you'll be able to access thousands of additional free and paid on-demand movies and shows just by connecting your HD DVR receiver to broadband. For those of you who haven't gotten connected yet, what are you waiting for? It's fast, it's easy, and it'll allow you to get the best of everything we have to offer. Here are three easy ways to get connected. First, wired ethernet connection. Just link your broadband directly into the receiver with an ethernet cable. Second, Sling Link Turbo. If your broadband is in another room, the Sling Link Turbo allows you to connect without running cables. And finally, wirelessly. If you already have a wireless home network, all you need is a dish wireless adapter for each receiver you want connected. If you need help getting connected, you want to find out how to get a Sling Link Turbo or wireless adapter, head to dish.com slash get connected. So say you aren't sure if your connection is working. Here's how to check your connection. Hit the menu button, go to system setup, diagnostics, and select connections to test your system. That's it. And don't worry, your connection is secure. There won't be any interference with your phone and internet. It's just the way to access all the latest and greatest DISH network programming. something really awesome. TV you can access from anywhere at any time. And with DISH, you can access your TV everywhere for no additional monthly cost. Nice. Here's the deal. Just for making the smart decision to get DISH service in your home, you can take your home TV everywhere. Watch your local news, live sports, favorite TV shows and movies on your computer or mobile device, including iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, Android and BlackBerry. Just upgrade to compatible equipment, download the free Dish Remote Access app, and you're in. Now you can catch every minute of the big game on your mobile device, and set timers to record your favorite shows when you're on the go. To get started, head to dish.com. Set up an online account, if you don't already have one. Next, visit dishonline.com and click Guide to browse and search your program guide and watch live TV. And if you want to enjoy TV everywhere on your mobile device, simply download the free Dish Network app. To learn more about TV everywhere, check out the online page at dish.com slash TV everywhere. Your TV is now online with Dish Online. It's the same great Dish Network service you have at home, now available for your computer wherever you are, whenever you want, at no additional monthly cost. Dish Online is your one stop for online video, with thousands of free on-demand shows and movies ready to watch the instant that you are. Catch up on shows you missed, or watch entire seasons of your favorite series from more than 150 top networks, like TBS, FX, Nickelodeon, HBO, and more. Plus, only Dish Online lets you watch live TV and your DVR recordings on your computer. With Dish Network's exclusive Sling compatibility, every channel from your Dish Network TV package is now online 
all live. Plus, use Dish Online just like your home TV. Schedule, delete, or even watch your DVR recordings. Browse the program guide and download movies right to your receiver. That's right. If your HD DVR is connected to the internet, you can rent movies from Dish Online and watch them back on your big screen TV whenever you're ready. It's that easy. You won't find anything like it anywhere else. Not with DirecTV or cable, not on Hulu or Netflix. Only Dish Online has all these great features in one convenient place, absolutely free. So what are you waiting for? Don't miss out on these exclusive benefits just for Dish Network customers. Go to dishonline.com and get started now. If you're watching this to learn about your new Dish system, I'm going to guess that you probably haven't set up your online account yet. Well, there are about a dozen reasons why you should. Once registered, you can click the My Account tab to do all sorts of stuff, like view your monthly statement and pay your bill, sign up for auto pay and paperless billing, make changes to your programming, update your account information, track your shipments, view your appointments, refer friends to DISH, track your referrals, and redeem your certificates for free pay-per-view movies. Plus, it will save you time, and who couldn't use more of that? Speaking of saving time, if you need an answer fast, where do you go? The internet. Dish.com is the place to go for support and answers on all things Dish Network. To get to our support section, just click the support tab in the navigation bar at the top of our site. Or type dish.com slash support into your browser. Once there, you'll find step-by-step -step guides to using your Dish service, such as how to order pay-per-view and video on demand, how to connect your receiver, how to use your DVR, and how to watch TV everywhere. You can also get helpful troubleshooting tips, learn about billing, see the real-time programming guide, and find your favorite sporting events using our interactive Game Finder tools. And if watching me on Channel 101 leaves you wanting more, the support tab on dish.com is where to find detailed information. Plus, you can always print what you want to save as a reference. But wait, there's more. Here are a few extra reasons to create an online account. You can do fun things like shop at our online store, set up recordings on your DVR, and of course, order pay-per-view movies and events. So here's how to get set up online. Just log on to dish.com and click on register. Have your 16-digit account number handy or your 10-digit receiver number that can be found on the back of your receiver. And one of these things, the last four digits of your social security number or your four-digit PIN. Fill out the requested information and click continue. And there you go. In just a few easy steps, you're now ready to take your DISH network experience to a whole new level online. Guess what? There are some pretty great perks that come free with your DISH subscription. Head to dish.com slash perks to find out about exclusive sweepstakes, free preview channels, special events, and more. And if you want to get the latest updates sent right to your inbox, check out our e-newsletter. You can sign up by logging in and clicking the link here on dish.com. Hey, let's talk about your DISH network bill. Here's where I make it easy to understand by talking you through Dish Network's billing schedule and explaining how to read your bill. Dish subscribers pay for their service by the month, starting on the day when your service was installed. Let's use January 20th as an example of the day your service was first turned on. Now, you've already paid for your first month's charges when you signed up. The bill that covers your second month of service from February 20th to March 19th will be created and available online 15 days before your bill due date, so on February 5th. Payments are normally due at the beginning of each month of service. In our example, that would be the 20th of every month. Always try to pay your bill by the due date because late payments may result in fees and or temporary loss of service. If you turn your bill over, there's a convenient form that lets you sign up for auto pay. Just fill out the information, send it in, and done. You never need to worry about whether you've forgotten to pay your bill. Now, on to reading your bill. 
Your bill is organized into three main types of charges. One-time charges, monthly charges, and prorated charges. One-time charges cover any services, like pay-per-view or a technician visit, that have occurred since your previous bill was created. For example, one-time charges that appear on your bill that is due on February 20th occurred before your bill was created. So if you buy a pay-per-view movie on February 3rd, you'll see it here on your bill due on February 20th. Monthly charges are for your recurring monthly services, like your programming package, DVR, and receiver fees. These charges are always billed in advance and cover the coming month's service. Finally, any prorated charges are associated with changes to monthly services, such as programming, for example. These will cover the partial month's charges from the time the change was made through the date the bill was created. So if you added services on February 15th, on your March bill, you would see a prorated charge that covers the changes from February 15th to 19th. Why would these charges show up on your March bill instead of February's? Since we create your bill 15 days before your bill due date, we have to wait until the next bill cycle to add these prorated charges. In this example, service was changed on February 15th, but the bill was already created on February 5th, so these charges will appear on your March 20th bill. It is also important to keep in mind that if you add or make changes to services after that February 5th date, as in our example, Charges for the full month of service from February 20th to March 19th will appear on your bill due on March 20th. Now here are three easy ways for you to pay your bill. First, online at dish.com. Second, by calling the automated phone system. And finally, through your TV on channel 100, if you're connected. Nice work sticking with me till the end. That's it. I really hope you have lots of fun with your new service. So before I start all over again, here's a look at some of the cool new features headed your way on Dish Network. There aren't many things better than that feeling of walking into your new home for the first time. It's like no other feeling in the world. At Dish Network, we understand. So when you move with our Dish Mover program, you can be set up the day you move in. Dish Mover is free, and when you call, you can get a free DVR. We'll help you get started on that new life of yours. Dish Mover from Dish Network. Welcome home. Hey, Dish, check it out. Whoa, DirecTV, uh, isn't that a bit much? Well, you know, I just love opulence. Okay, well, check this out. What? It's my price freeze until 2013. Awesome, right? Well, how about your price? Oh, well, my prices are right. Uh, Yikes. What? Your price more than triples in just two years. Oh, yeah, it goes up a whole bunch. You might want to get that checked out. Okay. Dish Network. Let's watch TV. Every Sunday afternoon, NFL Red Zone on Dish Network takes you from game to game. Live in HD. Follow your favorite players and teams. NFL Red Zone on Dish for as little as $7 a month. See all the best plays as they happen. NFL Red Zone. Every touchdown from every game. Go to dish.com slash red zone or call and get NFL Red Zone for just $7 a month. Dish Network has something new you've got to see. It's called Dish Online. Now you can watch TV on your computer wherever you want, free. Just go to dishonline.com and instantly watch thousands of movies, shows, clips, and trailers. Catch up on your favorite shows or discover something new. With over 20,000 shows and movies, I'm pretty sure you'll find something you'll like. TV Online. Movies Online. Dish Online. Check it out today. Dish Network. Let's watch TV. There's a world of entertainment ready at your fingertips. Introducing Blockbuster Movie Pass, exclusively from Dish Network. Stream thousands of movies to your TV or PC. Have over 100,000 movies, TV shows, and video games delivered to your door with unlimited rentals, and you can even exchange them in store. Plus, additional channels packed with movies and more. The best part? Just $10 a month, all in one bill. To learn more, visit dish.com slash blockbustermoviepass. 